Good morning everyone. So I've got an early start on the day. The sun has not risen yet and it's about 25 degrees. It's not supposed to be above freezing all day so it's going to be pretty cold. But I do have the whole day to go fishing so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm going to start off where I'm at right now doing some steelhead fishing in this river and hopefully get on a few steelhead for you guys. And then midday around maybe like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, I'm going to drive over to a pier, meet up with a few other guys and do some jigging for some whitefish. So hopefully between those two things I'll be able to get on some nice fish for you guys and get a nice little video for you. So hopefully things go well, but I will meet you guys at the first hole and let's get on some steelhead. Oh, got fish on, guys. Got fish on. Nice. Oh my gosh, I did not think I was going to hook up. That was perfect timing. I was so close to switching and throwing a jig out there because I've been fishing this for like 20 minutes. Have not gotten any action. Finally got fish. When it's cold like this, it shows you, you know, sometimes you got fish for a long time and eventually you'll get fish. Hopefully it stays on. Man, this fish is pretty lethargic. I mean, He's pulling real hard, giving some real crazy head shakes right there, but he's just kind of staying in the deep hole, staying in the current, not going on any big runs because it's pretty cold. And in any small rivers too, it seems like these fish don't go on big runs. They more just, I mean, they pull just as hard, but there's not as much room for them to fight around. So they kind of just hang in the hole and it's going little smaller runs basically, but still tons of fun to catch and a little easier to catch them in the small rivers like this. Sweet. Okay, get him above me, get him above me. Dang it. There we go, in the net. Nice. That is a good fish, guys. Check it out, got the hook right in the corner of the mouth. Got that little pink egg. Worked perfectly. Nice little fish. Uh, way bigger than I actually thought it was gonna be. Um, so, great looking fish. Super pumped with it. Hopefully the first of many, or at least a few more. So either way, let's get this beautiful fish back in the water and uh, try to catch his friends. There she goes. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the rig that I'm using real quick to catch these fish. It's very simple, anyone can use it. I have a 10 and a half foot rod just to keep that line off the water and mend it a little bit easier. Then for my main line, I have 20 pound braided line. Then for the leader, I have 12 pound fluorocarbon down to a 10 and a half gram float with three evenly spaced split shot. And then a little barrel swivel right there uh, with eight pound of fluorocarbon and then one small split shot. And about 12 inches below that small split shot, I have an eight millimeter bead right there. Um, it looks like a salmon or a steelhead egg to those fish, and that's what they're eating a lot of right now. And then two inches below the bead, I have a number eight Gamagatsu octopus hook. And the reason you want that bead a little bit above the hook is that way when it's going down the river, the fish grab the bead, your float goes under, and then when you set the hook, that pulls the bead right out of the fish's mouth and gets that hook right in the corner of their mouth, ideally. Um, so basically the reason you don't want that, hook, that little bead right above the hook is because there's a small hook, and if you have the bead right above the hook, when you set the hook, it could pull the whole thing out of the fish's mouth, and and the, basically the bead could block the point of the hook from getting in the fish's mouth. So that's why you want the bead generally like about two inches above the hook. Um, and that way it's best hookup ratio from what I've understood. And it's working well for me so far. So let's keep fishing and see if maybe we can get a few more. There's a fish, there's a fish guys. Nice little trout looks like. That or a tiny steelhead. Um, no, it's a little brown trout, nice. I was hoping I could get a brown trout. I was just told that there are some nice sized brown trout in here. And uh, I love brown trout, I never get to catch them. Nice, check it out. On the little pink bead again, beautiful brown trout. Gotta love the colors on these brown trout. Beautiful fish. Well, that was a terrible release. 
but he swam off. Well, I think it's going to be it for the steelhead. I only caught two fish, but I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, it's not too great, but it was really slow fishing overall. I mean, everyone I talked to was just catching some small trout and maybe a few steelhead. Um, either way, every time I can catch a steelhead by myself, though, it's a big confidence booster. I mean, I've caught lots of steelhead in the past, but a majority of the time I'm fishing with other people at their spots, which is much easier. So just going out there, finding my own spots and catching fish on my own is a big confidence booster. Even though it is more fun fishing with other people, it's just good to know I can do on my own every once in a while. So either way, um, we're not done fishing though. We're now going to go out to a freezing pier and stand out there for a couple hours and try to get some white fish. So hopefully that fishing is a little more active and a little more aggressive, I guess, or more fish. Either way, we won't know until we get out there. So I will meet you guys on the pier. Going crazy. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Man. It's the fourth one. <laughs> there we go. That one? Felt that one hit it too. Did it mouth? I think so. You don't think so? No. <laughs> that thing is good. in the tail, you think? I'm thinking in the well, oh yeah, actually no, it's, it's gotta it's be in the tail. tail. Yeah, the way it's like my rod's shaking like that. Hey. Hey. Yep, right in the tail. <laughs> you got your first one. Yep, we'll <laughs> pretend to eat it. <laughs> in the tail. Well, not quite how you want them to eat it, but first white fish. Well, that was a pretty tough day of fishing, unfortunately, but that's how it goes sometimes, especially this time of year when it's so cold. Uh, we did catch a few other whitefish that I didn't put in the video, mostly because it was pretty dark at that point, and all the fish we caught were snagged, unfortunately, but all the fish we saw being caught by other people were also snagged, so I'm not sure what was going on, but that's just kind of what happens sometimes. You accidentally snag fish when you're vertical jigging like that with spoons. But either way, that aside, I do have a center pin coming in the mail, I think, tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be able to do some steelhead fishing with a center pin for the first time ever. Um, in my probably in my next video or at least in an upcoming video so I'm looking forward to that and hopefully you guys are as well but either way thank you so much for sticking around even on the slower days like this so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and of course I'll catch you next time